Hello, my most amazing artist. Welcome to our last day of Superhero Week, and I'm really excited. I've saved this best project for last because now that we've been really thinking and drawing and creating all sorts of things superhero-y, I think we're now ready to make a superhero comic book. We're gonna make these really amazing teeny tiny superhero comic books. You're gonna have a blast creating these. But before we get started, let's go ahead and say our art class catchphrase. I make messes. I make mistakes. But deep inside, I got what it takes. I am an artist. Awesome, guys. Friends, today we're just keeping the supplies super simple. All you'll need is a piece of paper. It could be copy paper, sketchbook paper, construction paper. Just one piece is all you'll need. You'll also need a pair of scissors today. If you have a stapler or tape, that's great. If you have it, awesome. If not, it's not necessary to make your comic book. Then you're going to want to have something to draw with. I'll be drawing with a marker today. You could draw with a pencil, then trace with a marker afterward. Crayons, color pencils, or markers to color with. Whatever you feel like coloring with. All right, guys, let's get our pinkies out because we need to make our pinky promise. I pinky promise that no matter what, I will do my best. I will finish what I start. I will keep a positive attitude. And a big shout out to Dixon Ticonderoga, makers of the best construction paper and the best pencils who've been supplying me with those very things so I can teach these art classes to you. Big thanks to them for being our sponsor. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make a miniature comic book. We've been working on superheroes all week. Now it's time to tell the story of your superhero. Who is your superhero? Is it you? How did you become a superhero? What are your superpowers? And what kind of good things can you do with all of your superpowers? Those are the kind of things you're going to be thinking about today as you create your miniature comic book. Now, you can have your miniature comic book just have a couple of pages, maybe just three or four, or you can have your miniature comic book have multiple pages. That's going to be something that you get to decide. If you want for your sketchbook to have multiple pages, then you might want to have a stapler on hand. If you don't have a stapler, no problem. You can still make a miniature comic book. Also, I decided to make the binding or the side of mine a little fancy by adding something called washi tape. It's a kind of tape with a design. You don't have to do that, that's just something a little extra. If you don't have washi tape, you could use regular clear tape and then just decorate that tape when you're finished. All right, but let's first focus on making our book. So this is the basic look of the book. You're going to need a piece of paper. It could be copy paper, construction paper, white paper is what you might want to use, especially if you're going to draw and color later. But you might not be able to see what I'm doing if I use a piece of white paper. So as I walk you through the steps, I'm going to use a piece of yellow paper. So your first step is to make sure that your paper is going up and down. It's vertical. Once you've got your paper vertical, you're going to go ahead and take one side, the left side of your paper, walk it over to the right side. So get it on over there. Hold it still with one hand. Hold it still, please, hand. Got it, most Slavens. And then you're going to take your extra hand and smooth out the bump. The reason we're holding it still is because we really want these edges to be matched up. So that's why my hand is patiently waiting, holding this in place, extra hand. Smooth out the bump, there we go. And I'm really gonna press on that crease nice and hard to get it to stay put. Next step, I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to unfold it, unfold it, and there you see my crease. For my next performance, I'm going to take the bottom of my paper and walk it up to the top. 
So I'm gonna walk it up to the top. I'm using construction paper and you might be too. It doesn't always fold or bend very easily. So notice I do it slowly, trying to get that paper to work with me a little bit here. Match up my edges, hold my edges still with one hand, got it. Smooth it down with the other hand. And this time I'm really also gonna press down firmly on that crease. If I'm going too fast, just press the pause button and get caught up with me. Okay, now that I have it folded, I'm going to do another fold. This time I'm repeating the same fold that I just did. So where I just pressed down my crease, I'm lifting up that fold and walking it up to here. It's the same thing as the last step. I'm taking the bottom to the top, got the bottom to the top. It's a little trickier now because I'm folding a lot of paper. I'll really want to hold that still as I smooth out the bump. Smooth out. Uh, uh. Oh, the bub. There we go. Construction paper is a little trickier to fold because it's so thick. Okay, now that you have this, I want you to unfold your paper just one time. Don't unfold it completely. Unfold your paper. Say it with me. Just one time. Okay, I'm going to unfold it just once. And what you'll see is a horizontal piece of paper with a crease here, a horizontal crease here a vertical crease there. I want you to take your finger and have your finger go back and forth on this crease. And I want you to say this with me. <clears throat> this is the stop line. When my scissors are a cutting, they will stop on this line. Okay. So I'm gonna make sure that when my scissors cut, they stop here. Where do my scissors start? They're gonna start at this crease. I know you might not be able to see my crease very well so that you can see it. I'm just gonna draw it. That fold that we made, that very first fold, that's what I'm cutting on. Now I want you to double check as you're cutting or before you start, make sure that you are about to cut starting at the fold. Not here, not up there, on the fold. All right, so I'm starting, I'm double checking on the fold. There's my stop line, taking my scissors, and I will go all the way to the stop, 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 stop line. Okay, now all you have to do is pick up your paper. Looks like we have a pair of pants for SpongeBob. What I want you to do next is gently and slowly, your paper automatically wants to bend that way, go ahead and fold it like this. Got it? Pinch the crease. Now, these two flaps here, this is the front of your book, this is the back of your book. Close your book and voila, you now have your comic book. So here's my cover where I can make my design, telling all about the title and the author of my book. Here's where I can tell the story of my superhero, page one and two. Flip this, page three, page four. Turn this once more and there's the back cover. So you can keep it simple like this. If you wanna take it a step further and have a book that has more pages, if you want this to have more pages, then here's what you would do. You're going to take a stapler and on the spine of the book, on the side or the spine of the book, we're gonna put one two staples. I will show you. Again, you don't have to do this unless you want to make extra pages for your book. So I'm putting one, two staples. Now that I've got my staples there, now you see why I'm going to put tape on it because my staples are not very cute. I'm going to go ahead and look at the top or the side of my book. Look at the side of my book and I see there's a fold here. I see there's a fold there. I'm gonna shimmy. I'm gonna shimmy my scissors inside that opening of the title page and just snip, 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 snip. I'll do the same thing to the back cover, shimmy. I'm gonna shimmy my scissors in there. Snip, 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 snip. Okay, now I have 
a couple of extra pages. I like to go ahead and open it wide. A couple of extra pages, but then look, I have this big glob of pages all connected. All I'm gonna do now, look, there's an opening for me to shimmy my scissors. I'm gonna shimmy them in right there and snip, snip, oh, snip. There we go. Now I have a book with all sorts of pages. If you wanna take the time to put a little bit of tape, if you have special tape, great. If you don't, then go ahead and just get some tape, like clear tape. You can tape it over your staples. You don't have to, but it might hide those staples a little bit. Sometimes staples can get caught on things and I would hate for you to cut your finger on a little staple. So go ahead and then we can work on the inside of your sketchbook. All right, guys, here we go. All right, guys, the reason I saved creating comic books for the very last day of Superhero Week is because by now we have so much practice and experience drawing superheroes. We drew cities and superheroes flying on our pop-up card day. We learned how to draw and make onomatopoeias on Tuesday. We even learned how to draw a superhero selfie. So all of these things that we've learned how to do, we can now start to put them together to create our comic book. So you can be thinking about the cover of your book, but let's go ahead and start with the first page. And I'm gonna be using the book that only has one, two, three, four pages in it. And if you have a book like mine and it keeps coming apart like this, then you can staple it just once or put some tape there. I'm just going to staple it once right here. Oh, there we go. And then I'll cover it with tape a little bit later. That way my book doesn't keep popping open. Okay, so now I'm gonna open it up and just kind of bend it a little bit so it stays. There we go. And now I can work on the first two pages of my comic book. Now my book is really small and I don't wanna draw that small for you. So I'm gonna actually draw pretty big here and then you can draw along with me or you can wait for me to do my instant replay. You know that I love to do that right here. So we're gonna start with our story by putting it in its place. Where is our story taking place? My story is going to take place in a city. You could create an imaginary city, could be a city that's near you, could be city on another planet. The choice is yours, but that's what we're going to start with. Now remember, when we drew our city, let me go ahead and draw a pretend piece of paper for my comic book page. Notice how big it is, because I'm gonna draw nice and big so you can see. When we started our city, we used a series of horizontal and vertical lines. The horizontal line helped to show the width of our building. The vertical line helped to show the height. So on the first page of your comic book, you could work on the place where your story is going to happen. So I'm gonna work right here on this page, creating my series of horizontal, vertical, vertical, horizontal lines. You could, if you wanted to, have your city continue all the way across both papers. For me, I'm just going to have it stop at the end of this one. Now to decorate my building a little bit more, I'm going to use shapes. I'm gonna start by using smaller shapes that are on top of my building. Thinking about all the different kinds of shapes that I can add to the top of my building, making each one a little bit different, a little bit more unique and unusual than the other one. Even thinking about some of the buildings that are in the city where I live. So be thinking about how you can add shapes. We're using all of the elements of art, line and shape to create really cool buildings for our superhero city. Now, next up, I can start to get really into the details of windows and doors. If you wanted to, you could make this look like a city from outer space. So what could be something unusual you could add? Maybe these buildings have faces on them. There's an artist that I love. His name is James Rizzi. And James Rizzi lived in New York City, loved to make buildings, paint pictures and draw pictures of the buildings in the city of New York. 
So maybe you could be inspired by him. Maybe these um, buildings are really happy because they see that the superhero is on his or her way to save the day. This building's going to be crying for help. It's going to have a little window like that. So you could give your building spaces if you want to and really add more to your story. But if you don't want to, just use lines and shapes to create the windows and doors of your building. Think back when we made our pop-up card, how did we make all of those different kinds of lines for our building? Why don't you work on that right now? The best part is making each building look different and unique. Now that my city is drawn, I now need to think about how I can tell my story. So maybe on this first page, I can start with in a city called, or maybe in a city far, far away. Or maybe you could think of a sentence. What could be the sentence how you're going to really introduce this exciting comic book world of your superhero? If you wanna go along with me, this is what I'm writing, but you can write whatever you want. You don't even have to decide right now. You could always come back to this page once you've gotten all of your illustrations done. In a city called dot, dot, dot. Here's where you could write it. Maybe you wanna write it like this and like one of those action kind of bubbles would be kind of cool. So whatever you think, mine's gonna be called Happy Town. So in a city called Happy Town. So what will yours be called? All right, there's mine. I'm gonna think a little bit more on this one. So this dry erase board's gonna be my practice. Okay. Next up on this page, I'm going to draw my superhero. In a city called, there lived a hero named. Okay, so we're pretty much experts at drawing superheroes. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a little larger here so that you can see, because I know my comic book is really small. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase be thinking about how you want your superhero to look. How can you make them resemble you? This will be a self-portrait, a picture of yourself. So I'm gonna draw a little big. I know it's gonna be tricky because you're drawing kind of small, but you've got this. Okay, so I'm gonna start with two eyes. Two eyes kind of far apart. There we go, I added a little highlight. So if you want to, you can think back to how you drew your superhero the other day. If you haven't followed along with that video yet, it was super fun if I do say so myself and I just did. You can find that on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna draw two eyes for my superhero. I'm adding a little highlight in the eye. Awesome. Okay, next up, I'm going to draw the mask. If you don't want a mask, that's totally fine. Your mask could of course go really high up. First, I'm gonna start with the bridge of the nose. It looks like a little bitty baby nose in between the eyes. And then I'm making a curve here and a curve like a letter U there. Instant replay. Doot. Curve here, curve there. Awesome. Okay, now, if it's like a Batman kind of superhero or a cat girl, these lines could go up a little further. Diagonal, diagonal and close, that's one choice. Or if you wanna make it like a mask, I'm just gonna bring this line up a little bit more, but not quite as far. Then I'm going to go across, across, and then maybe down, down, close it. Now you can get into the little tiny details if you want eyelashes, if you want eyebrows, the choice is yours. Now I'm adding my nose. You can draw your nose any way you like. Remember this time I was kind of drawing like an upside down question mark. That's my nose of choice this week. And next up, I'm gonna draw the mouth. Maybe your superhero is happy. They're fighting all sorts of crime. It's making them feel great. Maybe they're a little bit worried. I'm gonna go ahead and open the mouth of this one. You're the artist, you can decide. Now that I've got the face, I'll go ahead and add the jawline, the ears. If I'm going too fast, just hit the pause button. You know that I'll always do an instant replay over here so you can always catch it again right there. 
I'm going to add my neck and then my shirt. I'm using a curved line to show the collar and my shoulders. Now's the time for you to get creative. What kind of emblem do you want to add to your superhero? I don't have a lot of room, so I started drawing a lightning bolt. Maybe the cape is flapping in the breeze back here. Perhaps there's more things happening. Maybe you could draw lines radiating or coming away from your superhero. So be thinking about that. I'm going to work on this one, repeating the same steps. That way, if you're a little behind, don't you worry, I'm right there with you. Now for this one, for the top of the head, let's see, I'm gonna draw a forehead. Maybe this one has hair that's up. She even has little cat ears. Maybe this one has hair that's down. You're the artist. You get to decide. Maybe she even has a little crown on her head or something, some little cute decoration like that. There we go. Making her different and unique. Awesome. Now I need to think of what's my superhero's name. There lived a hero named what? So I'm gonna write that a little bigger here. There lived a hero named what or who? There lived a hero. Now, if you don't wanna write that whole sentence or if you just wanna write the name of your superhero, that, or I could write called, it is up to you, you get to decide. Now, notice I'm not coloring anything yet. That's something that you can go back to do later. Once you've got your city finished and your superhero selfie done, let's turn the page. I'm turning the page now. If you have lots of pages, if you made a comic book with lots of pages, then you are gonna have so much fun filling all of this in. But right now, I'm going to turn my page to my last two pages of my comic book. I'm gonna go ahead and flatten it down a little bit. Ooh, ooh. There we go, flatten that down. Now let's work on these last two pages of our book. Now on this page, let's talk about how you, as a superhero and just as a human being, how do you make this world a better place? So let's start from the beginning. There in a city called there lived a superhero who made the world a better place. So let's draw a really happy earth. So I'm gonna draw again right here. I'm gonna draw a nice big circle, but leaving a little room at the top for my words. A nice big circle for my planet Earth. There we go. So just to see how big it's going to be here. And again, if you have something you wanna trace, you could always see, will this fit? Oh, that just barely fits, it's a little too big. So I guess I'm just gonna have to wing it. I can draw a circle. If you're not sure, here's an easy way to do it. Start with the letter C, and then go from this side to that side. There we go. Okay, let's make our earth happy, because we're making the earth a better place. So I'm gonna draw, it have some nice big eyes. Instant replay, oops, I'm doing my instant replay backwards. Nice, big eyes, maybe a couple of reflections in the eye. Since we made them nice and big, you don't have to, but I'm just going to color that in. So same thing here in case you missed. I'm making a couple of circles inside. How do you make the world a better place? What is your superpower? Okay, I'm gonna make my Earth really happy. It's gonna be super cute. Look at that cute little smile my Earth has. If you wanna give it a little nose, you can. Maybe some eyebrows. Did you know the Earth had eyebrows and eyelashes? Yeah, I don't think so. But hey, it's a comic book. Everything's cartoon, right? So there we go. I think this one's gonna go without any eyelashes. And now maybe it's going to have hearts coming away from it. So you are making the world very happy. You're making it a better place. I'll add some clouds maybe. And now of course, because it's an earth, it needs to have some continents. So I'm just gonna draw, looks, looks like hair. I'm gonna add some continents or bodies of land. 
Maybe there's one right down there. I'll add another one over here. And then when I get ready to color, I can start to color it in. So how do you make the world a better place? So again, our story was in a city called, there lived a hero who made the world a better place. Who made the world a better place, right? But how? I mean, I know you do, but how do you go about making the world a better place? Well, that's something that you are going to have to think about. What do you do? Do you spread love? Do you bring joy? Are you really good at baking or drawing and creating? What are your special gifts? That's what you need to illustrate right here. So if I'm really great at art and that's my special gift, then I could draw myself, maybe drawing or painting. I could draw that symbol, which for me would be a paint palette. So think about what you can be adding here. This is your special page that I can't help you with. This is all on you. Now that you're finished, or once you are, you can go back and color in your pages. But let's go ahead and turn now to the front. What could the cover art of your book look like? So for me, I could do a city, I could do something like this, or just like a title with a really colorful background. I really dig this one. So I'm going to go with this one. You do whatever you want to do. I drew the title of my comic book with a pencil first. That way I could double check my spelling and make sure that I drew it as neatly as I could before tracing over it with a marker. My title is The Amazing Adventures of Super Artist. You need to come up with what kind of exciting title you could create for your comic book. Once that's finished, it's time to add color, baby, color. Now you could use crayons. I'm using color pencils and you could use anything that you like. Notice that I did staple the edge of my book and then I covered it with scotch or clear tape and then I decorated the tape. Once that's all complete, think about how you make the world a better place. Add that and don't forget to write your words to your comic book. Have fun, guys.